the only civic institution in our country still closed to gay and lesbian Australians. An old, old dear friend of mine, Penny Wong, friend since teenager, who spoke today, is entrusted with our budget of almost $400 billion. She does it wonderfully well, but she can't get married. An openly gay man, Michael Kirby, served as a judge on the highest court of our country, handing down some of the most important legal pronouncements in our nation, but cannot get married. There are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of gay and lesbian and bisexual and transgender and intersex Australians in this position, and enough is enough. Friends, today we did not win the war. The law still remains. But I'll tell you, we won a decisive battle. A decisive battle. Up until this morning, Labor Party policy, the party of government still said that marriage is the union of a man and a woman. It doesn't say that anymore. Let me read to you what Labor Party policy now says. Labor will amend the Marriage Act to ensure equal access to marriage under statute for all adult couples, irrespective of sex, who have a mutual commitment to a shared life. And can I... And can I announce today that when we return to Parliament in the new year, a Labor Member of Parliament, Stephen Jones, who's with us today, will move a bill to make that policy a reality. And can I announce that I and dozens of my Labor colleagues will proudly cast a vote in favour of that bill. But friends, we do not yet have the numbers. The question from this afternoon and for every day until that bill comes to a vote must be, will Tony Abbott let Liberal MPs who also believe in marriage equality cast a vote in favour of that bill? That must be a question posed to them. I tell you there's a lot of us here who are very proud of what we achieved this morning, but we will not give up until that policy becomes law.